Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, I'll be talking about um, what Brainboard is, how it works, and uh, how it is positioned in the infrastructure as code um, uh, workflow and landscape. So just to describe Brainboard in one sentence, it is a solution that allows you to visually design and manage the cloud infrastructures. And there are two points here. When he said it allows you, you means cloud architects, um, DevOps engineers, platform engineers, network architects, security architects, security engineers, and even developers, if you want to build um, a service catalog and make them autonomous uh, to build their own use cases and infrastructures. And the second part is uh, when we say design and manage the cloud infrastructure, means that there are two verticals. There is the like what we call it day one, I build the first version of the, of the infrastructure, and the day two is I manage the changes of the infrastructure, I bring more people to contribute, I, um, I can uh, replicate the infrastructure, promote it into different environments, and all what I can do after the infrastructure is deployed or after the infrastructure has been uh, approved. So before we talk about Rainboard, uh, let's review what the workflow to build a cloud infra infrastructure uh, looks like. So usually we start with the specifications and we end up by delivering the cloud infrastructure. And in between, there are a few steps, more or less, these steps are present in every company. We start first by designing the infrastructure. The design could be high level design, it could be um, just drawing something on the paper. It could be the design in the head of engineers. Uh, this is sometimes the case. This design would be translated into code. Uh, whatever the code that you use, it could be Terraform, it could be Pulumi, uh, Bicep, CloudFormation, Ansible, whatever the, the code is. This code will be tested. So that's the goal to use the, the code is to apply the software principles to it. So it will be tested, review it. If the team is disciplined enough, it will be documented. And once it's validated, um, you just click on a button and it will be deployed. Since we are talking about uh, infrastructure as code and the Terraform like is the dominant one in terms of infrastructure provisioning, this workflow is split into two parts. So you have the part before having the code and the second part is after having the code. Um, so after having the code is uh, just uh, CI/CD. I click on a button and it will be deployed. The, there are a lot of tools out there that just um, triggers when there is an event happening on your Git and deploys the infrastructure for you. So um, what we try to solve at Brainboard first is to how can we reduce um, the, the, the path and the length from the specifications into having a valid Terraform code and how can we make it as fast and as secure as possible. And then we said, okay, we want the shift left to happen into uh, the same platform. So we build a CI CD engine that allows you to go fast. And this makes Brainboard um, one platform for your complete workflow. So this is from um, the high level presentation of how uh, how Brainboard works in terms of workflow. And this is when we talk about how really works in like the technical implementation, um, there are two parts. So you build the cloud infrastructure and then you scale it. And while you are building the cloud infrastructure, Brainboard gives you a, a smart cloud designer that natively support Terraform and support the Terraform modules. This design will be converted automatically into code. Uh, so we generate the Terraform code uh, automatically. Of course, you have control over the code, so you can change it, you can do whatever makes sense in terms of the, the configuration point of view. And since you have an embedded CI CD, you can analyze this infrastructure and this generated code for security, cost estimation, your internal policies, naming conventions, all what you can um, analyze the code for. And this is, the goal of these steps is to reduce the feedback loop. This is what is called shift left, which means if there is any error, you can detect it at early stage and inject this learning into the design that will fix the, the rest of the infrastructure. Once it is validated and approved, it will be provisioned. Um, and this is just the beginning of the infrastructure. 
once it is provisioned, there are a lot of things that you can uh, that you want to do on the infrastructure, especially how you can scale it and how you can manage multiple environments. Um, and and here, like Brainboard, gives you a lot of uh, workflows and features that allows you to achieve this. And the end goal is to build a serve serve model where you have your internal service catalog that capture the maturity of all your processes and uh, the patterns that are that happens. Uh, that happen inside the infrastructure, uh, inside your company for the infrastructure. Um, and there are other teams that consume these patterns either to build compositions or to use them as they are. Uh, the consumers and the producers work, work in an autonomous way to maximize uh, the benefit. This technically translates into uh, Brainboard in action. So for example, here I have a cloud infrastructure. Uh, I can, so the way to build the cloud infrastructure is just by drag and drop. Like for example, here I have a function app in Azure. Let's say I want to make, um, uh, to add a new modification, like I want to add a private endpoint to this infrastructure. I can simply here, I will modify a resize this resource group and I will add a subnet. So uh, this is a subnet inside my resource group that will contain my uh, private endpoints. This subnet belongs uh, to the VNet, so Brainboard automatically um, corrects the design for me. And now I just search for private endpoint here. I edit, and you can see the power of Brainboard is to understand uh, the intention of your actions and populate the information automatically. So it added the subnet ID, it added the resource group name, and it added the location to my private endpoint. I, and I can configure the resources easily through this configuration menu, like this. And I can say this is the function app. And uh, the connection is not manual. Again, for the service connection, this is a function app. And since I want to protect the function app in the, tar in the private connection resource ID, I search for the function app again and select this function app. And here, this is website. I'm gonna put the, the website. And now, Brainboard uh, depicts the relationship between the two resources and creates the Terraform code for it. So that's the, how you build the cloud infrastructure. Of course, it is natively integrated with your Git, so you can here just configure your the service that you want, GitHub, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, and GitLab, and push the code into your, into your Git. Or you can also leverage the CI CD of Brainboard to deploy your infrastructure. You can say, I want here uh, these steps to happen to verify, to check the infrastructure for security costs um, and uh, my policies once it is valid i will send an email to uh, for example cloud architects then i do the pull request or instead of doing the pull request you can say all right i will deploy with the brain board and here just select the action apply and if you want to add approvals you select the approval here uh, i will put my colleague benjamin here and save it and uh, yeah and now i can trigger the pipeline it will be executed here and the output will be uh, given to me. So for example here, I just created a, a simple action. I can see the output of the deployment. So this is in a nutshell how Brainboard works and the different steps. Uh, and you can scale it from there. You can manage multiple environments. You can say, all right, I want to promote this architecture into a different environment. Let's say production, disaster recovery, staging, whatever the target environment. You can create a template out of this architecture to publish it into the service catalog and you build your internal service catalog. This will be present here. And for any architecture, if I select the public ones here in Azure, you can see for any architecture that you build, you can also write a documentation uh, along with the, the templates that you build. Um, and the goal here is to um, capture the repeatable patterns in a service catalog in a library of architectures that anyone can see internally and uh, use. Uh, so this is a, a high overview of how Brainboard works and how it can help you. There are much more uh, that you can do with Brainboard if you are interested to sit with you and explain how things works. 
And in all cases, we'll be adding more videos to explain the different aspects, like how the modules work, the Terraform modules work, how you can import an existing infrastructure if you want to import the infrastructure like from uh, your Git or from the providers. Like you can also import an infrastructure from your Azure or AWS provider, generate the diagram for it and the Terraform code. Um, yeah, there are different aspects that we'll be sharing with you. And if you have, if you are interested uh, and want to learn more, I will be happy to guide you through. Thank you very much and have a nice day.